Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Today I'll be reviewing this Pure 12U16 speaker, 40 watts, 8 ohms. Now, wherever I come across, I'm going to stick up on the channel. There could be some really good stuff, there could be some mediocre stuff, there could be some average stuff, all that kind of stuff. It's just in case someone's looking about and there's not much information about, or there may just be a little bit and they think I want to get another person's opinion. The more opinions, obviously, the better. And people may be looking around for one of these. It's, it's not going to be on top of everyone's list, that's for certain. Probably going to not even going to be on the bottom of the list, just saying you stumble across pretty much what I did. Bit of curiosity, really, because I remember years ago buying a pure Evoke radio. I'm sure a lot of you um, remember that, that digital radio come in that kind of like little wooden box surrounding, etc. And at the time, I think it was around about £90, something like that here in the UK. And it's quite a decent sounding radio for what it was. You know, it sounded quite nice and it's quite a popular radio. A little story with that, I bought one for £100, believe it or not, and it was only about a couple of months after it kind of came out. I literally bought it when it came out. A couple of months afterwards, I don't know if this shop got hold of them. They got hold of a batch of these radios. This was kind of like a, a cheap jack shop kind of thing, sold secondhand stuff, all that. And he had him in there for £25, believe it or not, and they were still going for £99 everywhere else. I don't know if you realised how much they were. Harry go come by them or whatever. But um, I managed to get in there and I thought, I want to give out a few presents life to people. This would be an ideal present at you know, a reasonable price for me to go and pay £25 when they come out. A little Christmas present, etc. And I managed to get hold of three of them in there, so I was pretty pleased about that. Anyway, this is a pure speaker, so I thought, I'm well, going along them lines, though, nothing really about pure speakers or anything like that. Just bought it on a whim, really, and I thought, you know, give me a chance to review it on the channel and see what I think. So, you know, maybe you go and get a pair of these and these are going to sound really good or they're not going to sound good at all. So let's start off with it. It's quite an heavy unit for what it is, for the size of it, it's quite an heavy unit. Now this is, um, let's just get the dimensions right here by the way. This is uh, 6 inches in width, uh, 9 inches in height and 10 inches in depth. It's got a 5 inch driver rear and I'm not too sure about the tweeter but it looks like a 3 quarter inch tweeter, something like that. Uh, like I say, it's got quite a nice finish to it, the finish is quite nice, it's rear ported as you can see there. Uh, rated at 8 ohms, 40 watts, I thought I already mentioned that and just kind of got these clip um, speaker terminals here at the back, just little clipping ones. Now, when I see this kind of thing here, this always these, this has probably come to uh, a, like one of these mini units, this little like mini stack units, that you can, this is the accompanying speaker, so and I'll probably think that's where about this sits as it happens. Um, that kind of gives it away, I think, to a certain extent. Okay, so let's take it apart and have a little look inside. So there you can see normal position on the floor, uh, and this has got a plastic surround, the driver's got a little plastic surround just to neaten it off and make it look a little bit nicer. So that's with it off and there's the main driver and it's got a fair size magnet on the back of this driver. As you can see there's a side view, quite a chunky magnet. It's just got some markings there, made in China, it says made in China on the back of the uh, speaker unit itself. So that's where this uh, is made and it's probably like just a, a cheap driver even though it's got a fair size magnet there. There's the tweeter out, a little tweeter there. Uh, there's the crossover and that just com comprises of one capacitor, one coil choke, whatever you want to call it, and one resistor. And there's the back of the unit there as well. So okay, how did it actually sound? Right, before I actually say how these actually sound, I'll tell you what I thought they sounded like. Now, don't forget, I'm using old vintage amplifiers here, 40 years old, somewhere around there, but still quite well regarded by a lot of people, even today. And these ones still like working correctly, still sound quite nice. Obviously the all you spend on amplifiers, new or old, you're going to get a better sound of it, hopefully. Uh, and these speakers, you know, maybe people paying 100 quid for an amplifier, something like that, would be looking at a 20 pound to 100 pound pair of speakers, something like that to match up with it. I don't think you'd be having like a thousand or 2,000 pound amplifier and uh, plonking a 20 pound pair of speakers on the end of it, not unless you're really lucky and you knew what you were looking for, or someone has sold them ridiculously cheap by mistake. So these are pitched in for kind of units that I'm probably going to be using or maybe you're going to use with them. Um, I had these in the Yilma position on the uh, table, on the side unit, on the stands, even though the stands are a little bit too big, whip fire swim, I still plonked them on there. Still still give me a you know reasonable uh, account, you know, account of how they're going to sound. I don't think they're getting the right stand exactly would have made these any better. That's for certain. Well, first of all, these have you know, got quite a bit of bass to them. Quite, it's, it's, it's quite it's a thuddy kind of bass, kind of thuddy, muddy kind of bass, not really well defined or anything like that, but it was okay. You can go along with the beat of the music, front of the beat and everything, you know, it was okay, the bass. Coming on to the mid-range, it sounded harsh, the vocals sounded harsh, especially the female sounded harsh, a lot of sibilance to it, that kind of thing. It sounded a pitched a bit too high, it needed to be brought down a pitch kind of thing, just sounded a bit too high, the pitch of the vocals, and also the instruments like the piano, 
uh, saxophone, that kind of thing, trumpet, just sounded a pitch too high, sounded like it needed tuning up, that kind of thing, it just didn't sound right, so that didn't sound great. Uh, top end, mushy, not really well defined, a bit, that was pitched too high again, went a bit too high, um, just, just didn't sound, you know, it sounded okay-ish, but not, not right, it didn't sound really right, it just sounded a bit too much, so I think the amplifier, that they maybe plonk this with, it's probably a stack unit or something like that, a little unit, a pure make, that goes with these speakers, they've probably tuned that up, just to get, you know, make these sound a little bit better, make them sound mediocre, maybe is the word, uh, with that unit, it doesn't sound too bad, they've probably just tuned it up nicely, but for anyone that's going to go and buy it, without that unit, you know, it's not going to sound nowhere near as good as probably it does with that unit. But even with that unit, I don't think it's going to sound that great anyway. It's not going to sound fantastic anyway. It's going to sound okay, like I say, mediocre. So what I'm trying to say here is, even though this speaker's quite finished quite nicely and everything else, they probably use cheap drivers here and, you know, it's, it's, it's tuned for that unit and you're going to still going to get a mediocre kind of sound, you know, maybe. So if you had this on your list, you're looking at it, I'd recommend that you put a line through it and forget about it. Not unless you really, really wanted to go and get a pair and maybe pay five or ten pounds in a charity shop, car boot, something like that. Uh, I wouldn't go on eBay and pay twenty-five pound and postage and all that to get a pair of these here in the UK because I don't think you know. Well, I know that these don't sound nowhere near as good as say the uh, Diamond Freeze that you're probably going to get for ten pound more or something like that. So that's it. Hopefully that's helped out one or two people and I think it will be only one or two people are probably looking at this at the many 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 thousands so that's it until the next video I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon